Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be flipping through my personal ring planner and giving you an update on my 2022 planner system. So this is just going to be a casual, chatty, probably detailed video on my new planner setup and how my system is changing so far as we're getting into a few weeks into the new year. Um, kind of changing things a little bit. Um, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is this planner. This is a personal sized ring planner. It is from Kate Spade. Um, I don't think that they sell anything like this anymore. I've had this guy for several years. Um, it is the um, Wellesley Agenda, I think. Um, if you're interested in this, you can definitely find some pre-loved on eBay and things like that. Um, but I have just had this for a while and decided to set it up. I love the personal size, but I didn't want to invest in a new binder just yet until I kind of get the hang of this system. So I just use the one that I have on hand, um, which it's working great. The only thing is obviously it does not close by any means, <laughs> but um, maybe if I took everything out of the pockets, it might. Um, but a little bit of background on why I decided to set this up. So you all know that I've been using the Hobonichi Weeks and I love this planner. Um, I've used it off and on for several years, so I don't have any complaints with the Weeks itself. I absolutely love this and I have been planning in it for the past, um, well, probably a month or so, maybe a little longer than that, but um, I absolutely just am obsessed with it and it does really work very well for me. But um, I feel a little bit constrained by the bound book format. And this kind of started to happen as I was setting up my 2022 goals. I realized that for my goals, there's a lot of like lists that I wanted to make, different trackers that I wanted to have. And um, I'm not, I don't feel super organized in a bullet journal sense to just be able to like set up all of these different sort of pages in a bound book. Um, and so I started to do that, but I kind of realized like this, the week's format is not the best for me when it comes to being really goal, fo goal focused. And um, specifically, I was thinking about um, a couple of goals that I have regarding like my home, my wellness, and I just felt like the ring bound planner was gonna allow a lot more flexibility for me to use different kinds of trackers and inserts and kind of like set up a planner that has a goal section, has a wellness section, and can like speak directly to the goals that I have for this year, if that makes sense. So um, let's go ahead and dive into it so I can explain everything, but that's kind of why I've jumped into here. And um, originally I was just using both as well, um, which I might bounce back and forth, you know, using both too, because this planner is so small, it's really not inconvenient to just like throw this in here or, you know, just keep it with me. So I don't mind using both um, if it means adding a planner, but I've also been playing around with doing my weekly planning in here as well. Um, so without further ado, let's just dive in. But I have, um, this planner is absolutely stuffed. <laughs> and the Kate Spade Agenda, I've had this for years, so I don't mind, you know, bending the cover back at all. It actually will lay flat if you continue to sort of um, train it to lay flat. Also, I did have my weeks in a wallet cover. So basically, I just took all the cards and things that were in that cover and I put them in here. So I have um, various, you know, gift cards and credit cards. I carry it like a small wallet with my ID and credit card, but then anything else goes in here um, as just kind of like a backup. And I don't always take this with me, but I can kind of like swap the cards out if I need to. Back here I just have some sticky notes, um, and then I'll just show you the other pocket while we're on the subject of pockets. I have a little folio from Hobonichi, and this I just use to keep my receipts. And then back here, I just have a small stack of stickers that I use all the time. Um, 
Most of these are from my shop for good paper, but these are just the ones that I like to have and use in here a lot. Um, and I do like swap them out as needed, but that sits right back there. Um, so let's dive into the planner itself. So I have basically five, no, yes, five sections. Um, I'm using cloth and paper dividers and I didn't label my sections, but I actually did make a little task card back here and this is actually my index. So um, I have notes, goals, plan, health and wellness, and then a home section. So those are basically my five sections. And um, right up front, you'll see that I have a vision board. So I just created this in Photoshop and I just used some images from Pinterest. That photo I actually took myself, but the others are from Pinterest. And I just kind of created a collage, printed it out, and then I did laminate it. So I love seeing this like right when I open my planner. Um, and the pictures are all sort of symbolizing specific goals that I have for this year. And then on the back, I printed out one of my calendars for the month and I just printed it on vellum and then I punched it on both sides because I ended up like flipping it around. But I've been just using a per permanent marker to cross off the days um, as I like go through and complete all my trackers, I then check it off. So that way I know like, you know, how up to date I have been staying with my planner. Right up front, I have a clear pocket from Cat Espresso. I have several of these and they're all from Cat Espresso. And this was my first order from this shop and I really love the dashboards. I um, typed out some things that I wanna do pretty much every day. So I'm not really like a morning routine and evening routine kind of person, but this is like as close as I'm gonna get to that. It's basically just a list of things that I need to do every day or pretty regularly and just, this is really good. I put it at the front so like when I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed and I don't know where to start um, with, you know, tasks or I just have some downtime, I can open this and see this like right away. Um, and all I did was print it out, I typed it up, printed it out on a piece of clear sticker paper and then I stuck that to a piece of clear lamination. Like I just laminated a blank sheet and then stuck it on there. So that way it creates like this little clear card. So I have a couple of those in my planner. I have a little flower sticker from my shop. And then section number one is sort of my inbox lists working on section. And this list was a freebie from Puffin Pages and it's just a categorized list. I kind of am just using it to organize things I need to buy, organize, free time, um, kind of just categorizing random things that I think of. And these are things that are not urgent, don't have really a specific due date, but just need to get done. And then I just have a ton of different lists. So um, I clipped together a bunch of pages in here that are personal, so if you see that, that's why I don't normally have like that many paper clips in here. And just random lists, like movies I wanna watch, um, ideas for things not to buy, and then I have some Tomo River paper in here, and then some Philofax paper lined and blank, and then some more checklists in case I need those. So getting into my goals section, again, I just have another clear card that I created, just typing out my goals. And then I did the same thing with one of my decals. I just stuck it onto a clear piece of lamination and then sticking it in the clear pocket. And I just love like how you can see through it. And then this was just a little card that was with a piece of jewelry that my husband got me. And it has like a Frida Kahlo quote and it has been like my favorite thing to put in my planner, so I keep moving that. And then this, um, I forget the shop name, but I will definitely look it up and link it because they had a bunch of different goal inserts that I really liked. This is just an overview of the next five years. I need to brainstorm. My goal section is kind of just, I'm brainstorming as I go. But um, what I have so far is for each of these goals for the year, I have a page from um, Simple and Trendy Co. And it's just a, you can put like goals at the top and then 
break down a simple list of action steps. So this goal is a really simple goal. There's honestly not much to do. It's just that I want to read the Bible in one year. So I just chose to write down like write down every month so I can check it off. But this goal honestly probably doesn't even need a page for it, but I just wanted to show you how I would actually break it down. And then under date, I will either write a month or I'll write M, W, or D for monthly, weekly, daily, if it's a habit that I need to do every month or something like that. So I have a bunch of those and they're kind of half filled out at this point. I'm kind of just like filling them in as I have time. And then I chose to print out a couple of these future logs. This one is from Paper Tests and it is just a year overview. And for these, I have a few of them, but I'm gonna choose one of them to use just for the work goal that I have and just for work due dates because I want to have a place to see this overview like all in one spot especially if I have my planner like I'm at home or I'm just out or whatever and I don't have my work planner I just want to be able to see like a quick calendar um, so that I have a few and this is from um, I forget but I will link it but it's just another version of the calendar. So I will pick one of these. I'm just not sure like which layout I want to use. This is one of my favorite dashboards from Cloth and Paper. And then I love the Cloth and Paper year overview insert. It's really nice. It's just a, I'll show you a blank one. It's just like a quarter per page, which I really love. And there's a ton of space here. So I'm just gonna set this up like one at a time. This is just a random like sticky note of things that I copied down from a magazine. It was just like recommendations on um, finance things to do. And then this insert is from Paper and Line Co. I just printed one out for January and I think I'm gonna do like a monthly kind of overview and review for each month as well. So I started that um, and then for this overview, it's just gonna be like a place for me to put all those goal action steps into here. So still working on setting it up, but this way I can like quickly look at the month and know what I need to do. Like my goals will already be laid out. So that just makes it really easy on myself. And then another pocket, um, I just have some stickers in here that I like to use. I like to use these um, in my monthly. And then this was just like a sketchbook page um, that I cut up and put it in here. And then my next section is the planning section. So I have a calendar. This is available in my shop as well. It's just a 2022 overview and I printed it on vellum. And then I have a year overview from Paper Tests. And this one just has 12 boxes. And this I am using for like just memories for the from the month or accomplishments or like just kind of anything notable so I'll be able to flip through and have like a good overview of the year at a glance. And then um, I have a planning routine and this one again this is just for work. I don't I printed another one but I don't know if I'm gonna need this for personal stuff but um, I just wanted as I'm planning it is mainly just like my kind of financial like to-do list most of this stuff I do on Friday or when I get paid but it's just you know a note of like tax and finance stuff that I need to make sure that I stay on top of. Then I have a freebie calendar from Peanuts Planner Co and I started to set up this and I decided to like go ahead and just future plan as you know as much as I need to. So just noting all the things that I kind of know in advance which there's not a there's not a ton for this year so far, but I just like having it like off my chest. Um, and then this is where I'm kind of experimenting with doing my like weekly and daily planning. So um, I have a mix of daily and weekly, and most of them I have printed on Tomo River paper because I love that from the weeks, obviously. And so it kind of gives me that feel. And this is a paper test insert. And this daily insert I am really loving. Um, it's just, it's very simple, like, let's see if I have a blank one. Yeah, it's just like a grid, basically, with the hours and a couple of checkboxes. 
um, and I have like this one from Simple and Trendy Co. But I just have a mix of um, daily and weekly and I just put them in chronological order. And I like to stamp with my date stamp at the top. And then I love that like this is so open-ended I can kind of just change it as I need it for the day. So then I have it um, bookmarked here with the week, which I accidentally clicked that together, I didn't mean to. So this is the current week for um, January. It has, um, this is Simple and Trendy Co. also, and it just has a calendar um, for the month, but then it's just a simple weekly overview and a to-do list. So I'm trying this out, and then this is today. So. Love these dailies for detail, but then I'm trying out just like a very simple weekly overview. And yeah, and then I just have like, I kind of have been moving my pages as I need to, so they're not in any particular order, but I just, um, I like them to be in chronological order rather than like week and then day, if that makes sense. Um, so this one, I believe this was a freebie as well, and I will do my best to link everything. But if I don't mention where something is from, just ask me and I'll let you know. So I have a bunch of those printed. Um, some just star stickers that I love. <laughs> and then I made these little subdividers myself. They're just cardstock. And um, I just used some little tab labels to label them. So this section is my wellness and I kind of have it subdivided into like physical health and then just like self care and fun stuff. So I have a doctor's visit log, a blood pressure tracker, a menstruation tracker from Simple and Trendy Co. And then this is what I'm trying out for my health log. So I have just set up like the first three months of the year and I use a habit tracker down here at the bottom. This I just use as a health log, so I'll just put the day and then any symptoms if I need it. And there's not enough for the whole month, but I don't write things every day, so it's just as needed. And then this is just a nice little overview if there's anything significant or appointments or anything like that. And then this one I've been using for goals for the month, if I have any, and then um, this one I've been using for like when I did, you know, um, wash my hair with purple shampoo or like random things that kind of, you know, that aren't like every day, but I might want to remember when. Um, so I have a couple months set up for that and I'm just trying it out. The, I might change the inserts if they don't work out for me, but I think this is going to be pretty good. So then I have self care and first I put a bookmark right here because this I want to check every day because I'm this is my um, for my goal of reading the entire Bible in one year. So this is a printable from Daily Grace Co. and they have it broken up, you know, into like what to read for every day. So I have a bookmark here so that every day I can go and check it off really quickly. And then I have a gratitude log. I have um, movies, all the Marvel movies, and then I was like, I'm playing around with the idea of doing like a capsule wardrobe, so I have some paper for that, clothing sizes, and um, then this is a piece of acetate from Cat's Presso Co. And then we get into my last section, which is um, a mix of like home, travel, finance, but to me it's all home related, so I just call it my home section. And I have a um, bunch of images from Pinterest that I loved for my house. And this I made like a couple years ago, but I just love these images and I found it, like I didn't keep anything from my personal size planners that I've had in the past except for this and I found it and I was like super happy that it was already done. <laughs> and then I have cloth and paper um, home renovation inserts. So I have a few of those. And then this was a home challenge um, that I saw on a um, Rana Plans video and she shared this um, like weekly home challenge. 
So I went ahead and I just crossed off some that don't apply, like there's like garage and basement, which I don't have. So those things I just crossed off, um, but I'll just like highlight them as I do them. And then some garden notes and then my travel section. So um, these are, I just thought these were like super travel related and cute. This I also saved from my um, personal planner, but I just put those in here. And then I have cloth and paper packing list. And this is such a perfect like travel insert for me. It's really simple, um, but I just have a couple of those. And then this dashboard kind of like, or this pocket um, protector kind of like separates my finance section. So when this is closed, I can see this pocket and grab it really quick. And I have my little task card. Um, this one, like I sh showed before is just my index. The stickers are from my shop and I just used like my clear tab stickers to kind of um, create task cards. And I, the page flags are just some that I found from Target and I love orange. It's my favorite color. So then this one I made a while ago and these are cloth and paper um, flags. And this one I just typed up on um, my computer and printed out the titles, but this is kind of just like my payday routine or um, finance routine and I don't really ref refer to this that much, but it's kind of just like in order of priority So I like having it back here And then I just have some stamps The first thing when I flip to my finance section is just a bill tracker and I just use a recurring task tracker so I have all my bills listed, um, subscription, I only have one, but I just kind of like to keep track of it. And then this is an alternative um, bill thing that I might use, uh, but I don't really know. We'll kind of see. I think it's going to depend on months where I have like unusual expenses and we'll see how that goes because I kind of figured that for a month with unusual like large purchase or something, like there's not really a place to put it here. So I might just note it in this space here and then just list out my regular bills here. So I, I did just print this out and put it in here, but we'll see if I need it or not. This is just a, another checklist that I'm using for my medical bills because I do have to like um, submit them for reimbursement. So that just keeps track of that. Um, and then a little wish list, and then a health log for my dog so I can keep track of her um, vet visits. And then I have a car maintenance tracker, and then passwords. I just printed these out. I didn't fill them out yet, but they are just from Simple and Trendy Co. This, I feel like it's gonna be a necessity, but I don't love the idea of keeping my passwords in my planner, but we'll see. Um, and then back here, I just have some stamps, more stamps. I just had to put all my stamps in here because I'm constantly losing them. And then on the rare occasion that I do need a stamp, I rebuy them. So I decided to just like keep them in my planner so I know where they are. And then this is a cloth and paper card that I loved. I think it came with, um, as a freebie with an order. And then these are just some old affirmations that I typed up forever ago and I've like moved them to planner to planner but I still love them and then I have my final tab I like to like have my actual tab as my page lifter and then not I don't know why but I like there's six tabs but I only like to have five sections so that's probably why my fifth section is really like three sections but <laughs> it's working for me so um yeah, that, that's the detailed setup and flip through. Um, so far, I'm loving it. As you can see, my planner is definitely like bursting at the seams, but I do have my planning section right in the middle. So like the majority of the daily planning is right here in the middle. So it's not an issue with like writing or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it, but so far it's working very well, but um, I hope that makes sense why I'm using this one and the level of detail and all the different types of inserts and things that um, I know like I could definitely draw out back here in the weeks, but I'm just not, I'm not very like 
bullet journal inclined to draw out detailed trackers and then keep up with them. I mean, I kind of started with these pages here, um, but I just, I don't love the, like, lack of simplicity and consistency with this. Like, for some reason, the printed inserts just seem a lot more organized to me, and I think it has to, um, it's just the way my brain works with some of these things, and I think you have to find, like, whichever, um, whatever planner inserts and layout kind of makes sense visually to, with your brain, and this is just making a lot of sense right now. And since this video is not long enough, um, let's, let me share with you my, um, what's in my pencil pouch. <laughs> so I wanted to share this because this was a Christmas gift from my husband and it was like the most exciting Christmas gift I've ever received because this is something I've been wanting, but I just like never would think to buy it for myself. But it's a gallon leather um, pencil case. And the reason I'm so excited about it is because it will fit a bunch of my Tombow markers. And like, there's not a lot of pencil cases that will completely fit and like close all the way because these markers are so long, but I have, several of those in here. And then also I have my gray mild liner. And then I just wanted to share a couple of my favorite pens. So my go-tos are my Pilot Juice 0.5. That one, I mainly um, actually use it in my work planner. I don't know why that is, but this is just like the pen that I always want to write with when I'm working. I have my Tombow calligraphy pen. This is still a staple and my favorite for any lettering. And then I have my Hobonichi pen, which I'm still loving, um, even though I'm in here because I do have my daily inserts on Tomo River paper, and so I prefer to use this pen for that. And then a couple of pens from Cloth and Paper that I've been loving are both the um, Deli brand, and the first one is just this clear gel pen. It is 0.5 millimeter, and I love this because I love how it looks, but they also sell refills for it. So that was exciting when I saw that they sell refills and I could just keep using this. And then finally, um, also Deli brand, they, had, they have a um, permanent marker, and I love this because it is dual tip. Um, so it has a fine tip as well. And then this is what I use to cross off my vellum or to write on top of um, like glossy sticky tabs or anything like that. So highly love and recommend these pens and the pencil case and I just wanted to share that that is what I have been using. Um, and then as far as like the rest of my planner system, things are, have been staying the same. So my um, Happy Planner is still working out beautifully as my work planner and I love it a lot. Um, one thing that I'm trying out is, um, and I think I showed my Disney Princess um, planner inserts, and I, I mean, love those, so cute. But I also played around with creating my own planner inserts and I did put these up in my shop. And the reason that I wanted to create these is so that I could have like, what I think is the perfect um, work layout for me <laughs> that will work. Okay, battery died. I'm not sure um, where I was with what I was saying, but <laughs> work planner is still going strong and I did design my own um, inserts that I've been using. So this way I could have some inserts that are kind of like my perfect work planner layout and have space for the like traditional 1.5 by 1.9 little um, boxes and have headers that I could label as well and then have a lined section for to-dos um, and then also having like grid on the bottom and then lines on the side. I don't know. This is just like my perfect exact layout that I wanted <laughs> and I searched and searched Etsy and Pinterest looking for this exact layout and I couldn't find it so I just designed it myself um, and I do have it in my shop as a printable so I have been using these in here and just loving it a lot. 
so I have them um, printed out a couple, you know, extras, and then I still have the the Disney inserts in here, and I, I will absolutely be using these as well, but sometimes I'm just like, if I want to use this sticker kit especially, it's like, this just makes perfect sense with my brain and work planning, so this is definitely what I pr prefer for work. And then nothing else in here has really changed at all. I do have a full setup video on this on my channel, so check that out as well. That is my planner setup update. I hope you enjoyed the detailed flip through of this planner. Um, if you have any questions about any, where anything is from or my setup in general, definitely leave a comment below and I will be happy to get back to you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.